Melbourne's a great place to visit, and its trams are world famous. But it's important to know how to share the roads with trams when driving in Melbourne. By observing the road rules when driving, you'll help to keep our roads safe and reduce delays to trams and their passengers. By transporting thousands of people every day, Melbourne's tram service helps reduce congestion on our roads. Crashes between trams and cars often happen because drivers pull out or turn in front of trams. A tram travelling at 50 kilometres per hour will take at least 60 metres to stop. If a tram has to brake suddenly to avoid a crash, passengers inside the tram may be injured. You must not move into the path of an approaching tram. Be alert around tram stops for passengers getting on and off trams. At a tram stop, drivers and cyclists must stop level with the rear of a stationary tram until the doors close and passengers have cleared the road. If you're alongside a tram when it stops, you must also stop. Once the tram's doors have closed and all passengers have cleared the road, you may proceed at no more than 10 kilometres per hour. You must not exceed 10 kilometres per hour while passing a stationary tram at a tram stop. Be aware of parking restrictions around tram stops. You must not park or stop within 20 metres of a tram stop unless there's a sign which permits parking. Tram stop safety zones are designed to protect the safety of passengers and are located on the road beside tram tracks. You must drive at a safe speed to the left of a safety zone. Tramways are for trams only. As well as overhead signs, tramways have raised dividing strips or two yellow lines beside the tram tracks. You must not drive in a tramway except to avoid an obstacle and provided you do not delay a tram. You must not drive in a tramway. It's illegal to drive over raised dividing strips beside the tram tracks. You may only turn at a break in the raised dividing strip after ensuring no delays to trams. If necessary, you may cross a raised dividing strip to avoid an obstacle but only if you do not delay a tram. You must not drive over raised dividing strips except to avoid an obstacle and provided you do not delay a tram. Tram lanes provide priority for trams. They are marked with signs and a solid yellow line beside the tram tracks. Some tram lanes are full-time and operate 24 hours a day, while others are part-time and only operate during peak times. Some part-time tram lanes also have flashing electronic signs and road markers. You must not drive in a tram lane except if it is necessary to turn right or to avoid an obstacle. You may only drive in a tram lane for up to 50 metres to turn right or to avoid an obstacle and provided you do not delay a tram. To turn right at some intersections on tram routes, mostly in central Melbourne, you must do a hook turn as shown by signs. To do a hook turn, you approach and enter the intersection from the left lane and indicate that you are turning right. Move forward to the far left of the intersection, keeping clear of the pedestrian crossings. Wait until the traffic lights on the road into which you are turning change to green, and then turn right when it is safe to do so. To turn right at some intersections on tram routes, you must do a hook turn as indicated by signs. It is illegal to make a U-turn across a solid line in the centre of the road. 
If making a U-turn where it is legal to do so, you are required to give way to all vehicles, including trams, and also to pedestrians. It is illegal to make a U-turn across a solid line in the centre of the road. Take care at roundabouts. Trams always have right-of-way from all directions. You must give way to all trams at roundabouts. Double parking is illegal and often delays trams by forcing other cars to drive on the tram tracks. It is illegal to double park. Trams reduce the traffic on our roads and contribute to a more sustainable transport network. These road rules exist to reduce delays to trams and their passengers and for the safety of all road users. For more information, visit thinktram.vic.gov.au Thank you.